Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be talking about institutional trading and what you need to understand so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's education platform. Enjoy guys. Everything that we do is based on the underlying philosophy and values that we have and the edges that we're trying to exploit. Everything. That is consistent. That is non-wavering. It is the reason why we're here. I've added some additional context so people can maybe understand it a little bit better. One thing that I've said that ultimately what we're doing, which is taken directly from what institutional traders, fund managers, of which I've participated in that, is these two things, this two set of things. The first set is that we're trying to control the volatility of our returns, manage them as best we possibly can. That means you don't draw down, you take small risks, but you open yourself up to the second part of that is the spectrum of results so that you can maximize the result based on the amount of capital you put to work. So it's those two things at the same time. Minimize your volatility of returns, but maximize the return on the capital you put to work. It seems like they're like competing with each other and they are, right? Because it is a balance and that's what you're constantly trying to find that right balance. The minimizing of volatility of returns and drawdown is an absolute. That's something you must do. It's more important than anything. It's like the very first tenet that I tell everybody, capital preservation first, profit second, right? The other thing that professional traders do, and this is like more insightful than anything else, is that they're doing something very different than you ever thought. You probably always thought that there was some sort of technical analysis behind things and some analysis of the market. There is an analysis of the market, but it's pretty well known for most fund managers and institutional traders, but they are essentially trading levels and volatility. They already know what the levels are, right? They are very well known. Now, when you're getting up to a, an all-time high, they're not so well known because they're being created. But as we come back down, they, they are well known because they're there. They are part of the historical record. In currency trading, where most of those institutional traders are trading most often, you may notice that currencies don't go like markets do. They do this forever. They already know what all of the levels are. There may be slight variations or maturation of various levels, but they know what they are. What they're waiting for is appropriate volatility to take them from one area of value to another. Again, th these are also concepts that I talk about, like in volume profile. Profiles work by going from one level to another, from one area of value to another. And when they go from one area of value to another, that is sometimes referred to as price discovery. They're discovering a new price so that they can get to a new value and then, then chew on that for a while. They go from liquidity through low liquidity to areas of liquidity. That's what the markets are doing all the time. It's pretty simple. When you start realizing that is what it's all about, the trading part actually becomes simple or the concept of trading becomes simple. And then you realize in order to take advantage of it and have your risk in line and all this other stuff, takes a lot of discipline so that you can be very fastidious, concentrated, patient, all of that stuff, so that you can make the decisions when you need to make them, that you know that you're going from one, one level to another level, that you're at the simultaneously trying to control your risk. In what we're doing in the day trading, which is the most approachable thing to most people, and that's why I'm presenting it, maybe that is part of the issue too, because it is much more difficult than long-term trading. But long-term trading also takes way more capital, which most people aren't willing to put up. Day trading is a way to achieve essentially the same thing, but using far less capital. We are essentially trading levels and volatility. Now we're using options because it's the easiest way to control our risk. When you're trading levels in a bigger picture and you're looking to make these huge trending moves, you're not trading options usually. You're trading just the outright contract and you have very well-defined asymmetric risk to reward and stops and that sort of thing. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks guys.